welcome back to the Chance Bishop Show YouTube. And before we get started for anything, take a look at Ranger Suarez. 708 ERA in 12 games, 1 and 2 record, 7 holes, 20 innings pitched, 4 home runs, 14 walks, 18 strikeouts. Not going to cut it. It's time to make the call. Mick Abel, you know, former first round draft pick, drafted this kid out of high school, 18 years old. It's been four seasons since then. 18, 19, it's maybe it's three seasons. Doesn't matter, he's 22 years old. He's going to slot into the fourth spot of the rotation with Bumgarner in the bullpen. Brogdon, uh, Alvarado, Morales, Ken Jala, Chafin, and of course Josh Hader with Mark Appel also in the bullpen. Mick Abel, as you see right here, is going to make his major league debut. But before you guys realize, that's going to be way past noon. That's because my original voiceover corrupted. And I'm revoicing it over now at six. Uh, I'm sorry, 7:34 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, so hopefully it'll be up before nine. But Mick Abel in the minors. I'm not worried about that stats at all. 26 to eight strikeout to walk. That's what I'm looking at right there. Innings pitched. The record. I don't. That's that doesn't matter. In the minors, this team, as you know, we spent a lot of money on this team. Like a lot of money was spent on this team. So our minor league system doesn't quite have the high caliber depth of high caliber like 4A players we don't have any of those guys so are the offense struggles sometimes but you know who doesn't struggle Mick Abel racked up his first big league punch out right there you love to see that right there for the young kid 22 years old picks up his first strikeout now it's got Harrison Bader who swings and misses okay Bader buh bye bud that's a big punch out second of the game. And now Trey Turner. This Rockies team is stacked with talent. Doesn't matter. He goes down looking. This is a Rockies team. has got Harrison Bader, Trey Turner, and Chris Bryant taking on a rookie. The Rockies are sending out Chris Stratton. And zero starts his first start of the season. He's 3-1. 274 year rate. 23 innings pitched. 18 hits allowed with a 126 whip. Struggles to walks. Not in his favor. First batter he faces is Alec Bohm, sends that one deep to right field. That one's back in, that one's gone. Leadoff bomb for the Bohm. The Bohm bomb. That's what you like to see right there. Fifth of the season for the young third baseman, Chris Stratton. He's not quite happy with that outcome. First start, first batter in your first start of the season, and he goes yard off you? Dude's embarrassed. Dude's upset he's spaghetti. That's how upset he is right now. Super upset he's spaghetti is Mr. Chris Stratton. As Alec Bohm, not really known for his power. He's not a revered power hitter. He's a guy that I was surprised when he hit 30 home runs. But Bryce Harper, called strike three looking. Pair of shoes up there. Reese Hoskins, swinging and missing that slider on the outside half. Second punch out of the inning. Second of the game for Stratton. Now we have Kyle Schwarber who swings on the high end fastball. So Stratton allows a leadoff home run and strikes out the side after that. First batter of the second inning. There'll be a liner to the third baseman, Alec Bohm. So Mick Abel's tried four straight Rockies now. Sam Hilliard batting an abysmal 156. Swings and misses on the two seamer. You like that right there. Four strikeouts through two uh the inning in the third, two thirds. Ryan McMahon. Second baseman dribbles it to the second baseman, Ellie De La Cruz. And there you go. Second baseman, second baseman crime right there as the Rockies done a 1 2 3. Castiano swings and misses on the slider for the fourth straight punch out for Stratton. And now Brace and Stott 1 2 count. And Stott ends the strikeout streak. But that's going to be now five consecutive outs for Chris Stratton. JT Riamuto up, and JT gets the hanging curveball, sends that deep left center field. That one's back at the wall and gone. Barely clearing the fence, but clears the fence nonetheless. Third of the season for the veteran catcher. The best catcher in baseball strikes again with the big fly home run, extending this Phillies lead to two. You like to see that right there for the Phillies. They need JT to be hot this season. Now, if they want a deep playoff run, they need their catcher to in, you know, deep in this lineup to be hot. Mickey Moniak in the eight hole. Lines that one to center for a single. Just right down Main Street. Stratton thought, okay, 
get me over fastball, get him to roll over, didn't work. De La Cruz chops that one, missed by the third baseman, muffed by the shortstop. That's three consecutive hits now for the Phillies. All right, Alec Bohm now up. Homer in his first at bat, 3 2 count, and he obliterates that one. That's a Bomer right there. Deep left center field. No doubt shot, sixth of the season, second of the ball game. Alec Bohm with a slow trot around third base. You love to see it. Big fly, baby, for Alec Bohm. Drives in Moniac and De La Cruz. But there you go. Harper now due up, but I don't think he's going to face Chris Stratton, honestly. Rockies pitching coach, Rockies manager, whomever that man is, comes out to yank his starter. He had an okay game, to say the least. At least he had four consecutive punch-outs. But Ashton Goudeau comes in now, and Ashton in a tough spot with the hot Phillies lineup in 29 games. He's 2-0, though, with the balloon save. 28 innings pitch, a 345 ERA, a 2-1 strikeout-to-walk ratio, and lefties tee off against the poor guy. Harper draws a walk. So first batter for Goudeau out of the bullpen has issued the free pass to first base. Definitely not what he wanted. And now Reese Hoskins, middle, middle, fastball, deep left field at the wall, and gone. That's going to be the second home run of the inning. 13th of the season for Reese Lightning, as Reese Lightning has one of these slower trots around the base pass. They get a 30-second trot around the base pass in City Field one time after the Mets plunked them. Now Kyle Schwarber. Building off momentum, Chopper, Goudeau forced the play, and he fires in time to first base. So the inning's finally over. Phillies unpack six runs on the Brockies. As that's the first hit allowed by Mick Abel here at the top of the third. Six consecutive outs comes to an end with a single from number nine for the Rockies. Albert Amora Jr. swinging a miss. All right, strikeout pitch still working. Five on the game so far for Mick. And Elias Diaz up, and Elias Diaz goes down. Six strikeouts for the young fellow on the mound. You'll love to see that right there. 25, though, not a great pitcher's number, so we're going to maybe look to change that during the offseason. But there you go. After a leadoff single, Abel strikes out the side. He's got seven on the game so far. As Nick Cassianos leads off the third, with a check swing called strike three. Catcher throws the first not in time nonsense going on. All right. Ashton Goudeau. Uh, not, not getting any luck right there. Bryson Stott, chopper the first baseman. Over the shortstop, back to first in time. All right. Ball doesn't lie. Connor Joe, you know, turns two right there. JT up now with two in the inning, and that's a called strike three on the watched fastball. And there you go, slow trot back to the dugout. Harrison Bader due up, and Bader sends that one right center field. Moniak calls off Harper, and that's going to be the first out here in the inning. Four straight outs now for Mickey, I guess, Mick Abel. It's not Mickey Abel, it's Mick Abel. Trey Turner now with a 1-2 count, and Turner goes down swinging on the slider. 83 miles an hour of just disgusting comes at that man, and he can't do anything but fan at it. Chris Bryant pops this one up to left field, and that's going to be caught by Castellanos. Nick Castellanos makes the final out, and as Mickey Moniak leads off the fourth. Bottom of the fourth, I should say, as that's going to be a fly out to Harrison Bader out there. One away. One down now for the Phillies, as Aston Good. Uh, yeah, Ashton. Ashton Goudeau has to face Ellie De La Cruz in the nine hole. That's going to be a walk. Second walk issued by Goudeau. It's now Alec Bohm, who's homered twice. Now with a chopper up the middle. That's a single. Back to back base runners allowed now by the Rockies. Can the Phillies pop off for another big inning? As Bryce Harper, too energetic up there, swings and misses. Reese Hoskins gets fooled on the curveball off the outside edge right there. Back-to-back -back punch outs ends the Phillies rally. Sam Hilliard up and Sam Hilliard down. Abel cruising so far through this game. Nine punch outs in his big league debut. 
McMahon, the power hitting second baseman, lines that one into left center field. Second hit allowed of the game. Mickey Moniak can't cut off. That goes to the wall. And that's going to be a stand-up double right there for that Rockies outfielder. I believe he's an outfielder, right? McNeil, second baseman. Band's a second baseman. I thought it was Hilliard for a second. Following that double, it's going to be a bloop single. Harper gets to it quickly. And that's going to be thrown home. No one advances. Just off one base by everyone. Abel rallies, striking out Amora Jr. for his 10th of the game here in the top of the 5th. Now Elias Diaz up, and Diaz chops this one back to Abel, who gloves it and fires that to Reese in time for the final out of the inning. Robert Stevenson, former Reds prospect, just like Ellie De La Cruz, but in 22 games, he's 1-1 one one with the balloon save, 19 innings pitched, a astonishing 5.68 ERA, 16 strikeouts to 13 walks, make that 17 strikeouts to 13 walks, as Schwerber swinging for the fences. Nick Castellanos follows suit for Stevenson's 18th of the season. Now Bryson Stott ends the strikeout streak but pops this one up to the shortstop who's playing about like a moderate shallow left field. Trey Turner, mm, you hate it. Hate to see it. Garrett Hampson up now. Hampson pops this one up. Ellie De La Cruz roughly about where Trey Turner was standing but I guess in right field now, this top host to left field. Makes the play for the first out here in the sixth inning. Abel now taking on Harrison Bader, and Bader grounds that one to Hoskins, who can't make the play. Tries to do some Roger Dorn Ole nonsense, and doesn't get the glove down in time. Trey Turner up now, and Trey Turner goes down. Is that the third punch of the game for Trey Turner? Okay. Make Abel has Trey Turner's number. And Chris Bryant follows suit, too. So nice, he did it twice. JT Riamuto up, and JT, best catcher in baseball, realist Muto in Philadelphia, extend this Phillies lead to eight runs with his fourth home run of the season. This Phillies offense lives and dies by that home run ball. If the Phillies aren't hitting home runs, that offense is going to be like a 2-0 game. You ever notice that? You know, the offense doesn't really get dink and dunk hits. It's, we'll win by like seven runs, but because we have two three-run shots in the game, based off the power that we just have instilled in the lineup. De La Cruz, though, goes down looking for the second out of the inning. Alec Bohm looking for his fourth hit of the game, and does he get it there? And he does. It's the dink and dunk single to center field. As soon as I say Phillies don't dink and dunk, Alec Bohm dinks the dunk. Now Bryce Harper, oof, swinging through the fastball right there. A rough game for Bryce. Sam Hilliard, 3-2 count, and Hilliard sends that one to left field. Castellanos playing back. He's going at the wall. He's at the wall. He's looking up. He's leaping in, not in time. That's going to be a home run for Sam Hilliard, his fifth of the season. First home run, first run allowed by Mick Abel here in the majors. You hate to see it. The Rockies manager is just like, I guess it's better than losing by a shutout. But following the home run, McMahon's up. Abel's at 97 pitches, and he's going to get McMahon to fly out to Castellanos, who, who can make the catch this time. Connor Joe, the first baseman's due up, and Joe. Chopper to Bohm. Bohm fields it. Has time. Sets, fires, and Hoskins with a nice easy catch right there. Albert Amora Jr. sends that one deep left field. Castellanos is on the run. He's at the wall. He's reaching up and makes the catch to end the inning. As out comes Alex Colome for the Colorado Rockies. Reese Hoskins up now. It's a 2 2 count. And Colome gets big. Reese Hoskins is swinging the pitch way too high. That rising fastball, they call it. Kyle Schwarber do up now. He's over through the day so far. And make it over four. That cutter. Cutter just cuts way too far inside for sure we'll do anything with. Now Nick Castellanos. Mmm, that cutter again. Column A comes out, strikes outside in order. Mick Abel's day is done as the Phillies send out Ken Giles. Giles in 21 games has one loss in nine holds. 17 innings pitched with a 408 ERA. 20 strikeouts to 11 walks. Lefties are hitting an abysmal 143 against them. But the righty. 
goes down swinging. Now Garrett Hampson also batting righty. Chomps this one to Deli Cruz. And that's going to be the second out of the inning. Harrison Bader up. And Harrison Bader down. Jones comes in and one, two, threes the Rockies. Let's run to the bottom of the eighth inning. Castellanos. I'm sorry, Bryson Stott. I don't know why I thought it was Castellanos for a second. Now JT up. Chopper to the third baseman over the second baseman over to Connor Joe at first and that's going to be around the horn for the double play. Alex Colomay gets bailed out. Mickey Moniak up. He's one for three. He's going to send that one to right field. Will that one get down? And no, it will not. Thought maybe, but eh, we thought wrong. As that's going to be a 1-2-3 inning. Trey Turner goes down swinging on the running fastball. Here you have Chris Bryant. 0 for 3. Make that 0 for 4 today against this Phillies lineup. I'd like to see that right there. Chris Bryant could have came to Philly, but nope. He went to Colorado. And following up with a strikeout of another strikeout right there for Ken Giles. The Phillies defeat the Colorado Rockies. A score of 8 to 1 thanks to the long ball. We had 5 on the day total. 2 from Alec Bohm. 2 from JT Realist Muto. And then we had 1 from Reese Lightning. Abel with the win in his first Major League start. Stratton with the loss in his first start of the season. Bohm, player of the game, of course, went 4-4 four for four with two homers and four RBIs. And uh, Mick Abel, dominant in his start. Seven innings pitch, five pitch, 12 struggles, and only one run. Text him YouTube, though.